Hi, so I'm going to present you a new book called Bridge to Therabithia by Catherine Patterson. The, and this is my first uh, uh, realistic fiction. And this, the, the two main protagonists in this book is Leslie Burke and Jesse Arendt. So at first, they, Jesse Arendt is the main, is the first character who appeared in this book, and he's gonna, he's training to be the, he's training extensively to be the fifth, um, to be his school's fastest kid in his fifth grade school. In his fifth grade, and but all of the practice, all of the running, came to an end when Leslie Burke moved to Old Perkin, the Old per Perkins place next to Jesse Aaron's house. So they're basically neighbors, and but but unfortunately for Jesse Aaron's Jesse Leslie Leslie's determination won. One Jesse in one Jesse once and for all. So they so Leslie Leslie was the fastest kid in the fifth grade. Not Jesse. I think he's a second or something. And then the story moves to um the, behind the old Perkins place when Leslie said we're gonna call this place Terabithia. And you can see here as first there was a rope. They they put they dangled a rope on the branch. They swung to the other side, so they called the other side Terabithia. And at first, and then the story began. So they, so Leslie was queen of Terabithia, and Jesse was king of Terabithia. But then, a uh, kind of like bad guy, like a villain, in this book appeared. He, her, her name was Janice Avery, and she did lots of bad things like. When little girls are going to the toilet, she said, "Give me some money, like give me um one dollar if you want to go into the toilet." So you have to do these things. But one day, and one day, Maybell, Jessie's little sister, got a kind of cake thing. I forgot its name, but it's kind of cake. The, he brought, she brought it to school to eat it in lunch after to eat it as dessert in lunchtime, but she was tracked down by Janice Avery as soon as she saw that Maybell has the cake, and Maybell came crying, running, crying toward, and ca Maybell came running, crying towards Jesse and Leslie, and said. Jane is every stole my cake, or kind of something like that. Um, so De so Leslie thought up a brilliant plan to write a letter that a letter about to Jane is every. This letter was uh, under the letter. They said Wayne Puggins. Wayne Puggins is the girl is the boy who I think that's his name, but I'm not sure. Wayne something. Wayne Puggins. Um, was the boy who Janice Avery loved, and they wrote, "My dearest Janice Avery, Janice Avery, we're gonna meet at today. Um, this today after school, and um, we're gonna walk together home." And then there was something like this description or something to tell her about all the things that she. That he secretly do just for her and to, so to that so to have Janus Avery trust this letter and go um, to the place that they were meet. But actually, William Puckins doesn't know him in this, and he went to the bus and went straight home. And Janus Avery was really upset. Next morning, Leslie, when Leslie was in the girls' bathroom, she found Janus Avery crying, but to not sure about the letter. It's about her dad beating her. So they began. So they. So they comforted her, and and now Jane Avery is kind of a half friend to Leslie, but like Jesse is the whole friend, and Jane Avery is a half friend. But and the next chapter is the perfect day, where Jesse Aaron's Jesse. 
has a favorite, his favorite teacher is Miss Edmonds, the music teacher. And one day she came driving towards his house and said, why don't you come and see the art museum with me in Washington? You, in Washington. Because, um, you know, uh, Jesse loved drawing, just absolutely loved it, drawing. So they went to there, but tragedy happened when she came, when Jesse came back. Les, his father said that they found the they found Leslie dead in the valley over here, because that day was raining hard, and here are all waters. But first, but. In one of the chapters of the book, um, they, her, Jesse's teacher, which is also Leslie's teacher, said, um, you are going to write your personal hobby. So it's like the things that you love. And Leslie wrote scuba diving. And then, uh, now, now, Jesse said, no, De no, Leslie can swim really well, so he can't, she can't die. So, but actually, I think she crushed her head on this stone or something, and she was knocked out of cold, and she drowned. And at first, I couldn't resist that the that Leslie was dead. At the time that I read this, a string of bullet came charging toward my heart. So I think that. So I think this. Thing, the thing that made the writer, Catherine Patterson, write about Leslie's death is because um, one time she herself had, had been sick and she was, she was determined to recover. And she did recover, but in the time she wrote this book, Bridge to Her Bithy, and she thought at the time no one would understand this book. No one would understand why Leslie is dead. So, but after 40 years, people still love this book. And that, there's another thing that inspired uh, Catherine Patterson to write this book is one of her son's best friends is killed by a lightning struck. So lightning struck them and killed that and killed her son's best friend. So this book is full, full. So this book is to, is ham to, how to replace loss with love. So it's basically like Jesse at first he said, No, it can be so he didn't believe it, but then after um tomorrow to after the day that Leslie dead, Jesse said, No, it's okay, absolutely okay. Leslie Leslie of course didn't die because of course she Leslie didn't die because she he can just say that Leslie is dead. She just he just can't bear it. But actually, Leslie is dead. And then they buried Leslie in Pennsylvania. And they, and so the Burke family went away from the old Perkin place. And that's the end of the book. So I think you hope, so, so I hope you also enjoyed this book with, like I did. Um, the, this book is full of love. And I kind of feel it, actually. Um, the loss of your loving ones may have lots of effects on your emotions and feelings. But you have to conquer it with love. So I think that's the end of my book review today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.